Not a well-known mark, but I've chosen it for several reasons I'll explain. One is the parking next to the water. There's disabled parking right up against the sea wall, but the best spot isn't here, it's where the vans are. This shot shows why. The high tide mark falls short of the disabled parking, but does come up to where the vans are. The land off in the distance to your left is the north of Hailing Island. The land to your right is the Portsmouth area. The water in front is the most inland and sheltered part of Langstone Harbour. One thing to pay attention to here are the mullion defences in front of the wall, the wire baskets. If you don't keep your rod up when reeling in, you'll snag badly here against an immovable force and that snag runs as far as you can see. The path is another reason I've included Bud's Wall in my video guides. It enables the lure angler to roam here left and right. For the beginner, it's also a much easier proposition flow-wise than the harbour entrance. I've personally not got the rods out here yet, but another reason I've included this little known mark is the ground here is rich in natural food and the nearby outfall pipes situated inside a harbour points very strongly to mullet. It's an easy, convenient and safe venue to try for when the coastal marks are too rough or you want somewhere you can roam and get away from the static two rods in a tripod approach.